What is going on guys, today I'm going to be watching and reacting to The Boys Season 3 Episode 2, which is titled The Only Man in the Sky. So Episode 1 was fantastic, it had probably the grossest scene in The Boys history, I would say one of the grossest scenes I've seen in any show, but uh, it was a really good start to the season, it really had a lot of interesting things brought up. I liked the whole thing with, I believe her real name is Nadia now, but we knew her as... I think Victoria Newman was the name that we knew her as, but I'm really interested to see what's going on with her. We have Homelander working, or trying to work with uh, Butcher, but I, I don't really know exactly what the outcome of that situation really was, because he just kind of left, assuming that was real, but they kind of made it seem like it was in his head, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out this episode. Because um, the way they shot it, it was either he left really quickly, or it was just Butcher imagining the whole thing for fun. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the point of that would be, though, other than to show some sort of mindset Butcher's in. I don't know. Um, Butcher is also definitely working with Maeve. We did see that. That was really cool. Uh, Starlight was offered, co-captain, and a couple other things happened. Oh, yeah, Stormfront's still alive as well, but she's pretty much dead. So <laughs> she's alive, but not that alive. So yeah, if you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch this. Mr. Adana, tell me the truth. Are you having me followed? What? Oh, is this a movie based? Oh, it's a movie based on the church. Oh yeah, because the whole church thing happened. I see. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we forgot about these, the... The mini V's, is that what they called them? Something like that. The smaller version of Compound V. Hey, I really want to see God Butcher use it. Man, am I right? You really gonna shoot that shit in your veins? You know, I think I just might. Oh, but he is seeing things. Maybe that whole thing was just in his head last episode. I really want to see Butcher with some abilities. Oh my God, is he gonna do it? Is Butcher gonna become addicted to this stuff? <laughs> Please, for Becca, this would break her heart. Oh, is that? Oh, that's his brother. It's gotta be. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that was in his head. Aww. I was so excited. <laughs> I thought he was actually doing it. <laughs> He's gotta do it. I want to see him do it. It's gotta be like a last resort situation, though, you know? I think you should watch it. It kind of helps me when I sleep so good. Yeah, look, I told you, I'll watch it later. <laughs> He's so mean. God, I'm a fucking idiot. I should have seen it. How could you have seen this? I don't know, maybe when she killed Rainer, or when she blew up Congress. Okay, so that's good he knows she did all that. No, she could head pop everybody in the office, me included. True. She's really powerful. She could kill everyone. <laughs> and no one would know what is her. You know, I gotta admit, I was a little unsure about this. He's gonna have some fun with it. I am just so excited about what's coming. Oh no. Oh shit. Buddy, hell, Janine, you shot him. You remember your Uncle Billy, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> F soldier boy. I don't give a mother effing doodle how he checked out. He didn't die like no hero. I'll wager he went out on his knees begging like a right cunt. What the f <laughs> If there's a weapon out there, it kills Soldier Boy, and then it can kill Homelander, and that's gotta be worth something. He really doesn't want to get back in it, but he probably will. My father, that hunched over a desk, obsessing over a dead man while he was ignoring his two living children. And I almost did the same thing to her. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. Like, you don't have to do this shit anymore. But you hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna walk back in. <laughs> So he's been doing some of his homework. <laughs> Butcher's got a great smile. Holy shit, Vaultland. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. Totally forgot Vaultland was a thing. I never thought we'd see it, though. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Surely there is no good here. Oh my god. She just wants to have fun at the carnival. Please join us in saluting Soldier Boy. 
I'm assuming he's still alive. Like I said, I definitely remember see, uh, seeing people talk about him being in this season. Wait a minute. That is Lori Holden. I was gonna say, I'm like, is that is that Andrea from The Walking Dead? And it is. That's cool. I'm excited to see her in something again. I haven't seen her in anything in a while. The last thing I saw her in was The Walking Dead. Would you like to hear something new? <laughs> Frenchie's like, come on, man. You know that chimps are physically incapable of crying. But that doesn't mean they're not crying on the inside. <laughs> Oh, she really loves chimps. Look at all these posters. I mean, I do too. Monkeys are definitely my favorite animal. What, what are you? Ow! Don't let her hands touch. We want to know about Soldier Boy. What the fuck do you care about Soldier Boy? We want the truth about Soldier Boy. Not the mail you've been giving us in your appalling show. Oh, no. Honestly, I thought she was accidentally going to let off one of those fireballs and it was going to kill someone. Oh my god. There was a person in that. Oh, don't blame yourself, Kamiko. That was not your fault. I mean, I guess indirectly, maybe, but... It was... Holy shit. It was mostly... Crimson, whatever her name is... Whatever her name is. Mostly her fault. But, I mean, technically, I guess you guys would also be indirectly blamed for it, whatever. Ow. Huey, man. Man, you okay? Hey, why'd you, uh, <laughs> why'd you pick up the phone? Well, you called three times in the last three minutes. Uh oh, no, well, no, everything's good. Everything's fine. Just I guess that, that kind of okay? makes sense then. I would like to take a moment. Uh, hey, Jay, what's that? I'm supposed to be announcing the Starlight House. You sing me happy birthday. <laughs> Can't be worse than Skylar singing happy birthday to Ted in Breaking Bad. Starlight is is the one that sent me here. I'm completely sterile. Doctor says my sperm are bad. Like really, really bad. Is he actually getting himself stuck into a situation where he's gonna have to look for a kid? Is there anyone in particular that Oh nice. Well, the mayor is Oh, so Nadia went to the school then. Oh shit. So she killed people. <laughs> That's basically what we're looking at here. Did I do something wrong? Not at all. You've made so much progress. Not at all. She she blew off some heads. You're, you're adopting me. No, I can't adopt you, sport. Oh, Edgar adopted. It's more complicated than you two are. Oh, that is crazy. Some days are like that. Even oh, that's so weird seeing him in a home like this, with with kids. Let me talk to your mom. Oh, so that's her kid? That's brilliant storytelling. Like, this has been happening this whole series, but we don't get to see it until our main characters figure it out. I think that's really brilliant. I can't have people showing up at my work calling me Nadia. A cleaning crew sterilized the site within 15 minutes of the incident. No witnesses have come forward, and if they do, we'll deal with them. Uh -uh. There you go. <laughs> nice piece. Welcome. Oh, it's a gun. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, is he at an airport? Why are they okay with him having a gun at an airport? If Dakota Bob Singer gets elected president, you say hello to left wing socialism. Because I'll tell you this right now. I don't think this place is practicing firearm safety at all. <laughs> Why is he going to rattle it that much? Why don't you do me a big favor, buddy, and fuck off? You're right. I'm sorry. That's a filthy, unsubstantiated rumor. Goddamn right it is. Till now, this is a complaint you filed to Vaught, begging to be taken off payback on account of, and I quote, Soldier Boy's habitual abuse. Of course, say, 
buried at Volpina Consejo. Be a crying shame if a red meat faithful out there found out you were Sondra Boy's underage knob gobbler. <laughs> All I want to know is what happened to him. Maybe I put a bullet in your head. You do that. And it'll be all over the interweb within an hour. Soldier Boy never touched me like that. Whoa! Oh, it's turning into a shootout now. I don't know why shootouts in parking garages are always a lot of fun to watch. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's got all this armor, too. Pop yourself, dude. If you have that serum, you might as well just use the super hu uh, human serum. Someone else there? Huh? Don't tell me the bullet's gonna curve. Or it's gonna do that? What? Oh, this dude's insane. What is this shit? Holy crap. He's like dead shot. He got out of there. I'm telling you, one of these situations, he's gonna need to, you know, inject that serum into him. Oh god, what's happening here? To throw yours away, it'd be a real slap in the Lord's face, don't you think? You don't want to go to hell for all eternity, do you? I'm Jewish. <laughs> oh, fuck. What? What happened? Oh shit! She wouldn't. It's, it's my. It's my birthday. Wait. So the public did know about Stormfront being alive still? I assumed they just told everyone she was dead. Well, there you go. And he knows, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets really pissed and kills someone. <laughs> oh no! Is he gonna kill her? You probably don't know this because you know, Jew. Jesus wasn't born on the 25th of December. That was piggybacked off a pagan festival, and guess what? Today is not my birthday either. Really? <laughs> That's true, why would he even know? Why do people destroy their gods? How, how, how is it fair that you get saved while a beautiful, perfect god gets killed? Eh. Yeah. Wouldn't call her perfect. You know what, Chelsea? I think you should jump. Oh my god. I don't think I want to. You don't want to? Why don't you show a little follow through, Chelsea? Maybe him being a piece of shit will actually get her to change her mind. Jump. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god. No, no, no. No god. The only man in the sky. Oh my god. She's gonna... She's gonna have to die, because... Yeah, I was gonna say, Homelander's not gonna let her live after what he just said to her, so... Holy shit! Huey! Hi! Hey! He's gonna act so... Uh, off around her. So who's Nadia? What?! Yeah, Scotty said some guy came in yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm sorry. I, I mean, you're missing work. Your hand. A lot going on. She has suspicion. He was with me. I'm sorry for stealing him away from you, but we had some things that we needed to discuss. We had a fight. We didn't leave things in the greatest place, so I thought I would come by and... Check up on me? Well, I was worried about you. Yeah, well, you know I can handle some things by myself, right? Okay, I'm just trying to help. I don't always need your help. I mean, you don't have to treat me like I'm a kid. You shouldn't be afraid of a powerful woman. <laughs> I love the change in his facial expression there. You need to go back to Butcher. Yeah. Probably. I mean, you can't even, like, be with your daughter for that long. You we get to see her, what, once every week or something? Which is better than nothing. But, I mean, he doesn't seem, like, in the right headspace for that, I guess. Oh. 
That's true. I mean, they witnessed some terrible shit there. That is true. That fucks up a kid, man. It's sad. Yeah, you know, I won't blame yourself, but it's still just, it's just sad for those kids. Sad for the dude who died, too. <laughs> Do it. Take the fucking medication. Not medication. The, whatever, the compound V stuff. The I forget the name of it. The temp V. That's what it was, not mini V. Oh, it's got Becca's voice. Just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I'll see you soon. So, I love you. Oh. Butcher? You what, mate? Hey, um... Butcher's being the f sweetest he's ever been right now. The way he said, you alright, mate, it was the sweetest way he's ever talked. You was right every day. Things are good. Ryan's good. I should leave it well enough alone. Might as well tell him about things not being all good. Newman's a soup. She's the head popper. <laughs> Thought we could fight Vought the right way, but we can't. It's all rigged. If we're going to take them down, we have to do whatever it takes. Nice. We have to do it your way. Nice. <laughs> this season's going to be so good. Yeah, he was literally just trying to do what he was trying to do just to kill Homelander, but now he's got a whole nother plan because now he knows Vaught is still all sorts of fucked. You gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> Get your ass off of my car. Why are you protecting Soldier Boy? If he'd have slipped me a length, I wouldn't hesitate. I'd throw him to fucking dogs. Oh he took the he took the temp V! He took the fucking temp V Obviously they wouldn't kill a butcher right now. Oh, oh I can't wait to see what his powers are. It could just be normal strength or something, I don't know. Holy shit. Oh my god. I don't think he knew he was bulletproof. <laughs> I don't think he even knew that. <laughs> it's just super strength, that's what he has. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so great. I, I wanted this. I was talking about this so long ago, man. Season one, I was saying I hope Butcher becomes a soup, at least just for a bit. What fucking happened to him? Didn't die in an accident, right? Whole nuclear meltdown thing. It was just bullshit. I fucking know that. Yeah, so he's not dead. I don't know. I don't know. We were in Nicaragua. In fucking 84, but I didn't see it happen. That's a fucking CIA. CIA. They're involved? Who was your case officer? Grace. Grace, Grace Mallory. Oh, shit. I told you everything I know. Please, just, just. I know you did. But it don't change what you are. Is he gonna kill him? Damn, Butcher! Oh, oh, he's got... <laughs> oh, he's fucking Homelander! He's basically Homelander. Holy shit. <laughs> well, shit. That was awesome. Oh, that's his new suit? Yeah. The fuck is he wearing? Yeah, I kind of like his old suit better, but... <laughs> but it's cool to have some change. The Starlight House is a non-profit foundation dedicated to helping homeless and at-risk youth. Hey, Homelander! You're not! She died! Oh! Why would you yell that? <laughs> you know you're gonna get kicked out. Homelander, he's just, he's a human. He's just like the rest of us. He doesn't want to hear that he's a human. He wants to be known as a god. He didn't like that. In that spirit, Homelander 
has agreed to donate $10 million to the Starlight House, which no. is, I mean, give, come on, no. give it up, give it up. No, no. Holy shit. Starlight lied to you just now. Oh my God. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. I am better. Holy shit. A lot of people will like this, though. Roger, go to fucking commercial. Don't you dare stop rolling, Roger. <laughs> Holy shit. Rich people, powerful people, tried to muzzle me, cancel me, keep me impotent. And, uh, <laughs> this guy loves it. <laughs> yeah, people are going to like this, because if they already like him, this will make them like him more. They don't know everything about him, obviously. I'm done. I am done apologizing. I am done being persecuted for my strength. You people should be thanking Christ that I am who and what I am because you need me. I'm the real hero. I feel like the clapping's gonna start. They're definitely gonna cheer for him. It's a damn good episode. Oh, it's just gonna end. <laughs> oh, not this song again. Ew. <laughs> oh, Great episode. I mean, there was a lot of shit that happened. I don't even know where to start. Um, you had some MM development, a lot of stuff with him. I really like the scenes with him. We had Kamiko and Frenchie doing the little mission with the Crimson Woman, played by Lori Holden. I really liked that scene. It was um, cool to see Vault land, and I liked what happened with Crimson accidentally killing that guy, and then that kind of affecting Kamiko because she felt like it was her fault. And because the kids witnessed that. Then you had Huey dealing with everything after finding out about um, not uh, who Victoria actually is. And I think the best thing about this episode, oh, so you had to saw his Homelander and his usual shenanigans and stuff, but um, there was no deep in this episode other than that beginning scene, actually. Whatever. The best thing about this episode, though, was everything with Butcher. I loved Butcher in this episode. I always love Butcher. I think he's a great character. But this, I think, was one of my favorite Butcher episodes uh, for obvious reasons. Because he finally took that damn temp V and we finally get to see him with soup abilities. I was just waiting and waiting for him to do it because they kept teasing it. They kept building it up. They Honestly, I feel like it's been something I, I was expecting a long time ago because he hates soup so much. When I learned there's a way for regular people to become soups, I was like, they have to make Butcher become one because he hates soup so much. It's just like the perfect ironic thing for them to do. And it's, it's I, I think, brilliant writing. And Temp V makes perfect sense because he doesn't have to deal with that forever. He could just have it for 24 hours and then be done with it. And then he could take more if he wants to later. So I really loved how he used it here and especially the way he used it as a last resort. He didn't want to use it right away, but then he realized I, I, I might as well because you know there's a lot more shit going on than what i expected before before he just wanted to kill homelander but now he's like well no vaught is still doing some bad shit they're not going to stop there's still secrets and everything like that it's it's never going to end so he's like we got to just and i really like that scene where huey's like we got to do it your way and then butcher just goes and does that on his own and and just really cool he has the same abilities as homelander too which is really interesting except for the laser eyes are a different color i thought that was interesting um, I was kind of hoping to see him have, I know we've already seen claws before in the show, like Wolverine type claws with that, with pop claw, but he looks to me like Logan. So like, he does kind of look like Hugh Jackman a little bit. I would love to see him pull out Wolverine claws at one point and like jump at somebody. I think that'd be really fucking cool. I don't know. Um, I had seen some people say they, they, uh, wanted Carl Urban to actually play Wolverine so I find that to be kind of interesting because he does look like Wolverine so I'd be I'm cool to see that being one of his abilities but um what they did here I think was really really cool so I love this episode really solid one definitely better than the premiere if you want to see the full uncut reaction that'll be on my patreon which is in the description down below as well as early access to these videos don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel I will see you all in my next one peace out